some unexpected guests arrive. Mexican authorities, armed and ready to board the ship. With fresh bait in the water, Chris and Domeyer are caught off guard. You want me to put it away while they're over there so we don't catch a shark while we're here? What if we hang one? They'll come aboard and they're going to see the hook. If we hang one, we hang one. I mean, that's what we're here to do. OK, cool. OK, go get your permit and get ready. So it's going to give us an earful. When the expedition team set sail from the Mexican mainland for Guadalupe, they had their permits in hand. But 160 miles out at sea, rules are less certain. So you're always worried, even though you have all your paperwork, and even though everything is in order, that the next guy who's going to come check on you is going to tell you your stuff's not in order. Unease spreads as the soldiers fan out. You know, it can be quite intimidating when there's big guns around and masked people. You know, what in the world's going to happen here? And the one guy rolls in with his gun, and he's got his mask on, one of the most, like, intimidating guys on the boat. And one of our mates, Brandon, walks over, and he's like, any of you guys want a cigarette? And the guy who was the scariest guy at all, he's like, yeah. And he just pulls down his mask and starts smoking a cigarette. I was like, classic. We're good. Anytime they come, you just kind of, I don't know, you clean up. And I said to the guys at the Navy, I'm like, hey, man, if you want it and we have it, you can have it. You know, if you need some food, you need some fuel, whatever, we carry so many supplies on the ship. Necesitas más bebidas o gasolina, todo bien. Agua, comida, tequila. No muchachas. No tenemos este. And so the guys. They left us, and they cruise off, heading back to their Navy station. All right, that went very well, very well. I'm excited about how that went, because it never goes that easy, ever. And then they turned around and came back, like, oh, here, they're coming back. Like, no, I knew it went too well.